Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad you could join me this Wednesday morning. It's a little bit overcast out. And I understand we have a tropical storm coming up out of the South Atlantic, so everyone needs to be in prayer for everyone who's going to be caught in its path. This coming Sunday, we'll be having worship services at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock service will be, will be streamed on both Facebook and on YouTube. Of course, we'll be having services here in the building. And I just hope you can join us one way or the other. I want to read a passage of scripture to you uh, from Matthew chapter 5, beginning in verse 13. It's from the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus talks about the Beatitudes, blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are the meek. But then he turns to salt and light. Beginning in verse 13, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has become tasteless, how shall it be made salty again? It is good for nothing anymore except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do men light a lamp and put it under the peck measure, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Amen. Salt and light. Two things that are useful because they are different. Salt makes your food taste different. When you shine a light into a dark room, you can see different objects, different shapes, sometimes different colors. But if they are not different, they are useless. And so Jesus is telling his disciples, you need to be different. If you're not any different than the world around you, of what use are you? Think about that as we move into this week. Don't be afraid to be different from the people around you. After all, we're not called to be like those around us. We're called to be more like Jesus. I want to close with a trivia question. When Moses took the first census after the Exodus, which tribe had the most number of people? Which tribe had the largest count in the first census recorded in the Bible? I'll have the answer for you tomorrow morning. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for watching over us, Father. Lord, as this outbreak continues, as we begin to restart the economy and restart the different ministries and all the different churches, Father, we just pray for wisdom and guidance. Father, I pray for those who are still at home, Father, who are unable to get out, Lord. We just ask for strength and encouragement. Father, help us to be different. Help us to be salt and light of the world. Father, we love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for joining me. I hope to see you tomorrow morning.